We can't go to Bendigo anymore, Morty. We can't go. Oh, what do you mean, Rick? Oh, yo, boy, we're going to become animated, Morty. We're going to become anime. We're going to go. Oh, what do, you, what do you mean, Rick? Oh. Welcome, my friends. It is your man Z here with our reviews will kill you, and we're gonna talk about some Rick and Morty news, baby. Bendigo. No, they're not going to Bendigo. They're going to be anime, and we have seen a little bit of this. We've been given a taste, and I think that's what I want to talk about today. So first, I'll break down the news, and then we can talk a little bit more about it. Maybe I'll give you. An Get a little sample, a little taste. Uh, but it looks like Rick and Morty has been picked up. A spinoff, if you will. Ahead of the Warner Brothers Discovery uh, presentations on Wednesday, they were they officially greenlighted Rick and Morty, the anime from the Tower of God Helmer, Takeshi Sano. And uh, something else, but I don't care about that. It's uh, interesting. It's supposed to be a 10-episode adventure that will be separate from the flagship series, adapt anime themes and events from the original title. And um, the director, Sano, previously directed two anime shorts, which you may or may not see. We did cover them, Rick and Morty versus Genocider, Summer Meets God, Rick Meets Evil. Interesting. Interesting not maybe what we wanted. I don't know. I'm like on the fence on this one because yeah, I kind of like the anime ones, but when, when they were doing all those crazy Rick and Morty ones, I really do prefer. Um, there's only one that holds a candle in my heart. And that's the one that I'd prefer is if they gave us a little taste of this. Oh, just look at them two crows. Rick and two crows. Rick and two crows. That's all I want, some Rick and two crows. But we're going to get a little bit more of this. Wow, okay. Not super excited. Like, if I had a choice between the two, I would take Rick and Two Crows. That would be my choice. They even said it. It's the best best thing that came out of Season 5. And if you want to see our rant about Season 5, check that out above right here. It's one of the only good things to even come out of Season 5 is Rick and Two Crows. And like I said, they made a joke about making it an anime. Like, this is going to be, this is what we should be in the future. I mean, I would take some Bush World. I would take that. Give us a little Bush World. Bendigo, isn't that 12 hours oh, away? Oh, Rick, Bendigo! I'll get some science to me portal gun. He, my favorite now, joke. Also a real gun. <laughs> I've got a real gun. <laughs> it's my favorite joke. <laughs> I took me portal gun. And I did some science on me portal gun, Morty. It's a real gun now. So I would take some Bush World adventures. So I think of the three, we're getting the weakest one. Even the samurai ones were really good. And I'm just not sure how I'm feeling about it. I'm feeling a little on the fence, you know? If I've got especially 10 episodes and it's all gonna be the same anime style. I have no idea if it's gonna be in Japanese. Like I just feel like that could get a little old. If it's all in Japanese, especially since it's not the source material, it, you know, Rick and Morty's in English. I'm not opposed to watching things in Japanese, but I think it fits such a niche audience that I think we're really going to struggle with that. I'm just not sure how I feel. I'm kind of on the fence. How do you feel about this? Are you really into this? Would you want, which of the three do you want? I think Rick, I'm, my vote's Rick and Two Crows. Or at least in that style of Rick and Two Crows, right? What do you think about uh, the Genocider ones? I, like I said, they were okay. A little esoteric for me. Not super clear as to what the plot was. Kind of meandered all over the place. 
I'm not sure what message I was going to take from it. Rick and Morty go to Bendigo. I mean, you can't lose with Bush World Adventures. So, of the three, picking that one seems to be the strangest. I know the guy won some sort of awards or whatever. I, I honestly don't know that much about it. They also have another thing, uh, the guy who directed uh, Tower of God. And then Ninja Kaimu, I don't know anything about that. They also greenlit that as well. Something about uh, samurais and cyborgs and things. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. Apparently, it's marked as the seventh biggest anime film of all time and 15th uh, highest gro- uh, Japan's highest uh, grossing film ever. So they paid money for these, but again, uh, I think I prefer the others. So again, let me know what you think. Check it out. Let us know in the comments below. We read them all and comment. So uh, if you like what we do here, like and subscribe. We always like to give some Rick and Morty news and all that good stuff. And um, we do have a full-length audio podcast that you can get for free on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, all those great places and more. Full-length audio podcast. Also live streams on YouTube. Catch us on Rumble. All those different places. Uh, You can catch it there, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. Come join the party. But as for me, I am out to the next one.